it? Would you do it again? The like refugee camp? Would you write in? Uh, uh, being, being, life, you know, in refugee camp is not good and nobody will choose to live in refugee camp. Not yeah. easy. It's not easy. Not a good, good, good place. What's the, okay, give me a happy part and I'm out of here. What's the, be the, happy what's part, the beautiful thing you said? The beautiful thing is when, when, when we got installment and I was told that you're going to go to the United States, I was accepted. That was the book. My happy part. Oh, getting out of there, that was the happy part. That's my happy part. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. Gun warriors, everybody have gun, can kill everybody he needed to kill him. That's uh, not good. Uh, yeah, I never thought. That's one of the things that I'm still thinking about. The gun, how do we get all these guns? Yeah, how do we get all these illegal guns like people are having on the street and killing people? That's what I never thought. In Africa, they didn't tell you about that before coming here? They didn't tell me that we, everybody can kill everybody in the United States. Guns are only allowed to have by the... By the the people who are assigned, that's the cops. In Africa, everybody has it, that's why people are killing one another every day and night. Disaster, starving, that's what causes in Africa the problem. And that's why one of the fact that people are running away from Africa. Sick refugees to come to refugees to save themselves. And when I came over here, like my first day, it was to me like a paradise. That means I, I thought it's a place where ne, ne, nobody could have a gun. Apart from the the cops who are assigned to have, but when you hear somebody dead, you, the area where you live, it's gonna be a shock for you, because where the problems happens tomorrow, that problem we also I scare for myself too and for my children. That's why um, I'm shocked over it. And nobody, my uncle just explained to me how this happened when he opened the door, how he had seen this, because he don't speak English. And the children were all frustrated and said I was the cool and never talk. Then the cops are all over the place doing their own investigations. That's what I met. And the, having met the seen the blood all over the place, that's what makes me shock me shocked. If the guns, the illegal guns are collected, those who are having the you know um, guns uh, make sure that the government collects those guns and anybody that found such actions should be in jail so that no problem can this happen in the area. That's what I expect. We we had a school, but uh, um, we never had an opportunity like this. They, they were school, but people who have not been attention, been been to school because people are starving, having problems. Over though I was in the school personally. Since 1981, we are in refugee camp. We coming from uh, our country at uh, 1981 um, up to. Nine, uh, 2016, when I come in the United States. Oh, there's no uh, physical fighting all the place. There's a uh, cop, uh, police, or patrol in the area. But at night time, whatever ration that he, food that you are given by by the agencies is what people came to take away from the people by having their own guns. That's how the refugees come look like. But they don't come in the daytime and take things. No, they used to come at night. Police. No, the, the, the people who are looting the stuff. Okay, okay. They used to come at night and take... While people are asleep. Yeah, asleep. They, they wake you up, take things. They even kill, much less they don't care what they're doing. That's what they have been doing. How long Raping, okay. massacring, victimizing young ladies. And that has been going on since the refugee camp came over there up to now. So In what camp did this happen at? This is happening all over the camp. In Kenya, okay. it's, it's happening. Because people are there as refugees, they don't know what's going on. The only thing we know is like... Uh, according to the school curriculum, when the schools are having holiday at a certain time, school closing, that's all I remember as holidays. And one of the things that well, when you look at these people around here, they are all born January 1st. They are all born January 1st. That's because they are ignorant. These people have never been in the school. They don't know even their part day. That's why we all got January 1st, January 1st. When you look at most of the Somali band who live in Cleveland, when you look at their documentation, they are all born January 1st. 
That's how the registration has been made by UNCR because they could not tell what year, what day they were born. Uh, the, one of the worst things I see in the camp, not actually when, I were, when we left Somalia, between Somalia and Kenya and the, the border before we reached, I've seen uh, like people have been, run, run, yeah, people run away from Somalia to Kenya. That's where we were going as a refugee. So you will find because of starving, lack of water, two people are starving. Some of the children, some people I think left their sibling on the on the road, eaten by a hyena. Eaten by what? Hyena. Hyena. Yeah, children are eaten by hyena because some of the children could not carry their their sibling or their children because of starving, thirsty. It's just they all manage to reach between the border between Somalia and Kenya. Parents are too weak, you know, to carry their children. So by that time we were we, we left from Somali to reach Kenya, the refugee camp. So a lot of people left on the street, like those elderly that could not walk a week, parents that could not carry their own children because of their two weeks. So, so that's my worst part that I've seen. What's the other